Hello, thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we will be talking about lurking variables. Ooh, it kind of sounds creepy, right? Like what is a lurking variable? Well, it's kind of just like it sounds. So if you hear lurking, you think of something in the background, something doing a work or a thing that you're not quite sure what it is. You just kind of have a feeling it's there. So what is a lurking variable in statistics? Well, a lurking variable, otherwise known as a confounding variable, so they're the same thing. So if you hear lurking or you hear confounding, the definition is the same, they're interchangeable. A lurking variable is usually related to an explanatory variable, or if you have more than one explanatory variable, it's related to at least one of them, and it usually influences the response variable in some way. Now, if you've forgotten what explanatory and response is, let me quickly remind you. Remember, an explanatory variable explains, so it affects change in the response variable. And the response variable responds to the explanatory variable. It's kind of how they get their names. So explanatory is changing or affecting change in the response variable. So an example that we could look at of a lurking variable situation is exercise and weight loss. Now, everybody knows that exercise can cause weight loss, but it's not usually the only thing that causes weight loss. So if you see that somebody is exercising and they have lost weight or a group of people doing exercise has lost weight, maybe that's not the only reason they've lost weight. Maybe because they're exercising, they're drinking more water, or because they're exercising, they're fueling their body with different food. Maybe it's those things that are affecting the weight loss and not just the exercise, or maybe it's not even the exercise, it's the drinking more water and eating healthier. So that's an example of a lurking variable. Just because you have people in an exercise group and a non-exercise group, and you see that exercise is causing weight loss or that people who exercise are seeing weight loss, it might not be that it's the exercise. It might be some lurking variables like if they're sleeping more, sleeping better, if they're drinking more water, if they're uh, eating different foods that are healthier for them. So that's one example of a lurking variable. Another example might be, if you've heard this, I've heard that if you eat honey from bees in the area that you live, you will be less likely to be affected by allergies. So something about the bees pollinating those uh, plants that are going to ultimately cause you um, to experience allergy symptoms, it's, that's what I've heard. Anyway, so is it though, if you see that people who are eating honey have less allergy symptoms than people who are not eating local honey, is that really going to be a straight relationship? Or are there lurking variables like genetic predisposition? If they've experienced allergies in the past, are they eating other foods that help them to not experience allergy symptoms? Is it you know, the area that they live? Is it the time of year? Is it how much rain we're getting? Is it how much um, heat we're getting. All of those things can lurk in the background and affect allergy symptoms. It wouldn't just be the honey from the bees. So hopefully you can kind of see what the definition of a lurking variable is and what the challenge of it is. And those lurking variables tend to become a problem in observational studies because you can't control for you know who's in what group and you're not measuring everything. Um, so, so the goal is to be able to measure those lurking variables so that you can at least account for them. And the best way to do a study to avoid those lurking variables is to actually do a designed experiment so that you can control what groups people are in. And then it tends to be the case that some of those lurking variables dissipate because um, there aren't commonalities amongst the individuals and in explanatory groups because you've put them in those groups instead of them choosing because it tends to be the case with people when you make one choice other choices come along with it 
So hopefully that helps you to understand lurking variables a little bit better. And I will see you in future videos.